One of the Democrats who actually urged the speaker, uh, what, a couple months or so ago, to compromise and try to work out a deal. Uh, what do you make of the speaker's uh, response today to Manu? Uh, because, what, $908 billion, that's a huge amount, almost a trillion dollars, uh, but it's not the $1.8 trillion that Steve Mnuchin uh, was proposing to the speaker uh, before the election. Well, Wolf, there were a few of us who were saying, let's take the $1.8 trillion. Uh, obviously, we should have, or at least forced McConnell to take a vote on it. McConnell uh, wasn't willing to take a vote. We should have said, let's have the $1.8 trillion and have a vote. But that's in the past. Let's move forward. Let's figure out how we can get the best deal going forward. And that needs to have unemployment insurance extension. Uh, that needs to have a direct stimulus check to people. I want, I want you to watch uh, the exchange, you've seen this before, that I had with the speaker before the election when the White House was putting forward a $1.8 trillion package. Listen to this. There are millions of Americans who have lost their jobs. They can't pay the rent. Their kids need the food. That's right, and that's what we're trying eight, to get done. $1.8 trillion. And the president just tweeted, stimulus, go big or go home. He wants even more that's right. right now. So why that's not right. Why not work out that's a deal right. with him and don't let the perfect, as they say here in Washington, be the enemy of the good? Well, I will not let the wrong be the enemy of the right. What's wrong with $1.8 trillion? Well, I, you know what? Do you have any idea what the difference is between the spending that they have in their bill and that we have in our bill? So just be, to be precise, uh, I know there are a whole bunch of Democrats in the House of Representatives who agree with you that that was a mistake on her part. She doesn't like to use that word. It was a mistake on her part not to accept that deal. I just want you to be specific. Was it a mistake not to accept the $1.8 trillion? Well, I think we should have accepted the $1.8 uh, trillion. Now, I put a lot of the blame on McConnell as well, because as you know, he wasn't willing to have a vote. If McConnell had, had a vote, uh, we would have probably had a deal. So uh, I don't think it's uh, useful to uh, Monday morning quarterback on the speaker. I do say clearly, though, we should have said yes to 1.8 trillion. Now the question is, how do we get stimulus checks to people? How do we make sure that we're getting uh, rent assistance to people and, and that the New Deal has that? Yeah, Mnuchin, the Treasury Secretary, did say uh, to uh, Nancy Pelosi and others, said it publicly, if you accept the $1.8 trillion, the president will squeeze Mitch McConnell. They'll get it passed in the Senate, and, and, and that will be that. But uh, as you correctly point out, that's history right now. Let's talk about what's going on right now, because so many people are suffering, uh, and, and they desperately need help. We're hearing from Senator Bernie Sanders, Congressman, that he n may not necessarily vote for this $900 billion uh, proposal, a bipartisan proposal, if it doesn't include additional economic stimulus checks. I know you want that. All Americans want to get that help so desperately needed. But are you worried that some Democrats could end up with nothing yet again? Yes, well, if I am worried, which is why my inclination is to ultimately support the deal. But right now, the deal has all of the funding for PPP, or a large chunk of the funding for PPP. Now, we need to have funding for restaurants, but if you look at the statistics, it cost about $250,000 to $300,000 to save a job. The money would be much better spent to have unemployment insurance extended and to have more unemployment insurance beyond March, where we're going to have a recession, unfortunately, probably beyond March, and to have direct stimulus checks so people can pay the rent. So I think what Senator Sanders is saying is let's craft this in a better way that actually helps ordinary workers. Yeah, I know at least, uh, what, 10 or 11 of your uh, Democrat, Democratic colleagues who lost their bid for re-election. They're blaming the fact that there was no deal before the election, at least in part, for their failure to get re-elected. Congressman Ro Khanna, thanks for everything you're doing. We're always grateful for your joining us. We appreciate it very much. Thank you all for having me.